Hey guys, Strike here, and welcome back to the Return to Bloody Night. Now, if you guys remembered, I played through the demo of this game from Monday to Wednesday. Now, the full game released yesterday, so this is probably one of those fan games where I I'm here early, so let's do some recording. Let's upload some videos. Ah, oh, yeah, the phone. I forgot about the phone. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, we've had a pretty good run with Freddy Fazbear's Pizza so far. It's been doing really well. Yeah, I've heard. I'm actually a bit jealous, to be honest. I really want my place to be as successful, if not more successful, than Freddy's. I'm sure it will be, William. You've put a lot of work into this. Thanks. I really hope so. That's great to hear. I'm sure it'll be a success, but I wanted to talk with you about something important. Sure, what is it? I've been reading about some incidences at other restaurants where animatronics have been malfunctioning and causing harm to visitors. I want to make sure that our establishments are safe for everyone who comes through our doors. And especially yours too. I understand your concerns. Rest assured, I'm being extremely careful with the programming and engineering of the animatronics. Safety is my top priority. I still want you to take your time with the project. Rushing things could lead to mistakes. I promise I won't rush anything. I want this restaurant to be just as perfect as you do. But I do need to move quickly if we're going to open in I time. I know, but please keep safety in mind, above all else. I don't want any accidents or injuries to happen. I understand, Henry. You can trust me to handle everything properly. Is there anything else you wanted to talk about? No, that's all for now. Just keep me updated on the progress of the project, okay? Will do, Henry. Talk to you soon. Take care, William. Alright, so all that stuff seems to be the same. So nothing's changed there since the demo. The office, I think that's different. The picture. Where's the puppet? Talk about your safety, and we need to talk about it now. In front of you, you'll
you'll see a fancy video surveillance system that'll let you keep an eye on everything happening in this place. And when I say everything, I mean everything. No slacking off on the job, or you'll have me to answer to. Now, those mechanical doors on your left and right might look like something out of a sci-fi movie, but they're not toys. Don't get too close to them when pressing the button, or you'll be singing soprano for the next week. And trust me, I don't want to be paying for any medical bills. Speaking of which, do you have insurance? <laughs> because once you step foot in this place, you're on your own. If things go south, you're not getting a dime out of me. Oh, one more thing. If you notice your vision getting blurry or your eyes begin to water and burn, don't worry. That's just a side effect of working in this environment. But if it persists for a week, start worrying and go see your personal doctor. last thing I wanted to tell you is about the mascots we have here. I'm talking about the real stars of the show, Fred Bear, the singing bear, and his best friend, Spring Bonnie, the guitarist. These two have been entertaining children in this town for years, and now they're getting an upgrade. After we renovated the entire place, we added some great new features, including making them more interactive with our customers and staff during the day. But, since we have so much to do, and so little time, we decided to test some of the features during your night shift. So, if you see them wandering around the pizzeria through the cameras, do yourself a favor and just let those handsome devils go about their business. Here's what you have to do. When those animatronics start lurking near your office, shut the door and keep them out. During the day, those guys will pop up in your office to say hello to the security guard like they're your best buds. It's all part of the entertainment, you know? Okay, kid, I gotta go handle my own business now, and let's get this night shift started and hope for the best. And hey, if things get a little too intense, just remember that you could be working in a morgue instead. So have some fun, enjoy the ambience, and keep your hands off those animatronics. And most importantly, stay alert. We don't want any accidents happening on our watch, do we? Well, good luck, kid. We'll need it. See you tomorrow. Okay, so... The phone call ended. Nice. Okay, so how is the puppet going to work this time? Because there used to be a huge box in the middle. Where he would sprout out every now and then and we'd have to flash the light on him but there's there's no big box how how is the puppet going to work that is pretty much the only major change in this game that i've noticed so far it's pretty much the only change you know all this looks the same I think this guy might have changed because I don't think I remember him here. I think. Other than that, everything is the same. Literally everything else. Everything else is the same. All this stuff over here. This camera, this camera, this camera. This one. This one, this one, this one. They're all the same. But yeah, so we got William Afton, that's still the same, uh, all the good stuff. Don't know what the code could possibly be, but... What if I do six eleven one nine seven nine? Nope. All right. We'll just hopefully get night one done soon. Hopefully it'll take over soon. But something I forgot about the fan game is it takes a while. For the night to end. Oh, there we go. He, he, he moving. He moving. I don't think Puppet moves until night two. From memory. 
so we don't have to really worry about anything. It's all good. There we go. Yay. Here we got this again. the detectors going off. Alright, night two, here we go. Nice, nice, nice. Everything's going well. The animatronics are on track, and I'm confident about meeting our opening date. That's good to hear. However, I need to emphasize that safety is our top priority. And we can't afford any mistakes. Pressure to meet the deadline might cause you to rush things. I understand your concern, but rest assured that safety is always my top priority. I know what I'm doing, and I won't take any unnecessary risks. I hope so, but I've been hearing some worries from others that your methods of work could lead to some problems. They're also worried that your recent divorce might affect your judgment. My personal life has nothing to do with my work. As for my methods, they have always worked in the past and will work now. I have everything under control. I see. Just remember that I'm here to support you and the company. If you need any help or advice, don't hesitate to ask. Thank you for your offer, but I've got it covered. I'll keep you updated on the program. Please do. And keep in mind that safety comes first. We don't want any injuries or accidents. Of course, Henry. Talk to you soon. Take care, William. Okay. someone who can handle themselves. I'll keep it short and only tell you what is absolutely necessary. The main two animatronics also have a second functionality that'll blow your mind. You can actually wear them like a costume. Now, I know what you're thinking. Waffle, that sounds like the greatest thing ever. But hold your horses for a second. These newer models aren't quite perfected yet. They've got a bit of a... Well, let's call it a design flaw. You see, if you're not careful, it could crush your chest, and you'll bleed out until the dawn. Trust me, it's not a pretty picture. We had an incident with one of our employees not too long ago. Poor guy ended up in a hospital bed with his legs crushed. It's tragic, but informative. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't try it out if you're feeling brave, but just know that if something goes wrong, it's on you. Actually, don't even touch him. We're not taking any responsibility here. So if we find you the next morning, dead inside of one of our mascots, don't come crying to us. 
You were informed, and we are clean. Uh, yeah. True. Anyway, a new mascot was added to the cast recently. And not just any mascot, mind you. This one's special. Made solely by one of the founders himself, Henry Emily. Now, I don't know much about it. But what I do know is that it's been causing some trouble. So much so that we had to lock it up in your office. But don't worry. Whoops. I accidentally, uh... I kinda, uh... Kinda uhed, not gonna lie. That was a bit of an uh moment. Shit. I skipped the call. By accident, that is not good. That sucks. All right, well. Is there a sound cue for the puppet? Hopefully. I'm also gonna have to get a new headset soon, I swear. Cause it's actually very necessary. Very necessary. For these fan games. And just... In general. Cause I usually use headsets a lot. I use them a lot. They used a lot. So that I can keep sound to myself and not distract others. Where is this puppet going to show up? I have no idea. Ask me and I'll have no clue. Gosh, now I want to go back to Jolly 3 Chapter 2 and try some of the custom nights. Because some of them are doable. But not right now. Right now we've got a game to play through. The Return to Bloody Nights. And I want to get these videos out early so I can get more views. No, I'm kidding. Anyway, I just want to dish out this game anyway because this is one that's been on my list for quite a while. So I just want to get out of the way, but don't worry, I will come back to Project Notify Night at Joaco's 3. Do not worry. I will. I'll come back to the game. Oh, it's, there's Sparky from Night Ships at Sparky's. There's obviously these two. Sonic. I think that's meant to be a guy from a fan game, obviously. We got Squidward from Final to the Chum Buckets. We got the Chica Rainbow. Oh. We got an elephant from maybe Elephant Quest. I don't know. We got Cuphead. We got Flumpty. We got, I think, Pork Chop from Pork Chop's Horror Story. Or Horror Show. Well, Pork Chop's Adventure, but yeah. Uh, let's see what else. What do we have here? We got Fred. Fred from. Scooby-Doo, I think that's meant to be Fred, I don't know, let's go back, let's check on these two. Oh, they're both moving, also generator, what does that mean, when am I, why am I going to use generators, I have no clue, by the way I don't even hear the game sound, Weird. I guess the game is just that quiet. To be fair, I'm not wearing headsets, so it's further away the sound, but still. I still want to go through a good amount of this game, though, even without a headset. It's fine. Oh gosh. Okay, there's him, there's him. Camp 5 and Camp 2. They're out to get me. 
That's no good. I wonder is it safe if I shine the light at them when they're at the door? If so, then what's the point of the cameras? Maybe the whole point is that they become concealed. Oh fuck! Oh my god! Oh my god, that terrified me. Oh. Wow. I think that's gonna be one of the biggest jump scares I have ever had from a fan game. Genuinely. Oh, I have n I never tried that in the demo, that's why it terrified me so much. Oh my god. That was so scary. Oh my gosh. Still no puppets. What is that sound I heard? I'm still terrified from that. That was such a good jump scare. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh oh. So at least that answers my question. I can look outside the door for them. So then what's the point? I'm just going to close the door now. Never mind, I won't. I want to see Fredbear's one as well. Actually, kind of. Oh my god. I want to see Fredbear's move. There we go. I didn't get to see his move. That's unfortunate. Oh, they, re they did really well with those. With that kind of jump scare. Oh wow, how surprising. It's picking up. It's picking up souls. How te how how shocking. There's souls in the animatronics. There's no way. I would never imagine that. It's totally not like there's a cliche. I don't know. Alright, well, since we've done two nights and it's nearing 30 minutes, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, stick around for more The Return to Bloody Nights, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.